Mace Road Sidewalk. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $520,000 for the construction of an Americans with Disability Act compliant six-foot sidewalk on the west side of Mace Road, including installation of ADA compliant ramps and crosswalks connecting Mill Road to High Street, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 300. And let me see, fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 town impact of $520,000 is 0.156 per thousand valuation. Okay, do I have a motion on this to uh, recommend? What? To recommend? Or not. Or not recommend? I'll second it. Okay, so David has made a motion and it was seconded by Regina. Um, does anybody have any any questions or comment? Go ahead, t Tim Jones. You know, in the, in the past I've spoken with DPW about sidewalks and and uh, asked for a, a, a sense of a grand plan of how we're going to uh, repair and make compliant, ADA compliant all of our sidewalks, and I believe the number she guesstimated at was about $6 million. I thought it was more like $25 million, but let's, uh, let's go with six. And also to have something, I think, you know, if we're going to build more sidewalks, and I'm not opposed to doing that, I think it needs to be in that grander plan, not, again, a piecemeal uh, exercise here for a particular uh, neighborhood whose need is no, no greater than another neighborhood's need, in my mind. Um, and so I cannot favor this because 500, over half a million dollars for a sidewalk uh, without any, any uh, sense of how it fits into a grander sidewalk plan uh, doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm okay. not going to support this. Fred, I want to ask you a question. Sir. We had in the budget 26,000, uh, 26, I believe it yeah. was, yes. in the regular budget, right. DPW budget, right. both Jennifer and Chris that's <coughs> money to be used to fix here and there as things need to be fixed, right. brought into ADA uh, compliancy. Then we had a separate warrant article brought forth by the DPW director and his deputy to do a sidewalk on, was it Landing, not land, Landing Road? Landing Road. Yeah. Landing Road. Yeah. Okay, how much was that one for? $25,000. $25,000. I think it was twenty-five. dollars okay. 50. 50? I think so. 50000 Okay, so no, that was repair. That was a repair. Repair, yeah, $50,000. Right. $50, now, the question I want to ask on this particular $520,000, first of all, it was it talks about having a six-foot sidewalk. Is that coming out of the street, or is it coming out of uh, eminent domain taking property off of people on the it's west? It's not coming out of the street. Okay. So, and the next thing I, so then there's, this is a little more complicated, I think, than a, to bring this in at the 11th hour. Um, another question for you would be, so so it's not coming out of the street, and I happen to, I realize that when you're driving that particular stretch of road, that's not an excessively wide road, so you can't be taking six feet of it and making it into a sidewalk, because then we'd have to make the street one way. Um, so Basically. It, yeah, so then we're going to have to, I guess, take by eminent domain all the way from Mill Road all the way to High Street, which in that alone sounds like a pretty big project. Now. Has this been fully engineered? Does that In fact, the Public Works Department conducted a study of this at the request of the residents on that street, and I have it in front of me, and I don't see anything in here about eminent domain. Okay. It's probably a 50-foot layout, but the, you're right. The street is only two lanes, so it's probably a 25-foot roadway, and I suspect that the roadway is kicked to one side as opposed to the other. Uh, they did a survey of the entire roadway, and... Um, they have all the all, all the materials, all the walls, all the uh, uh, the trees, uh, all the catch basins that, that are there. They've determined all that, the potential crosswalks. Um, their analysis was that um, ADA compliant six foot wide by two minute sidewalk, which is the new standard, by the way, federal standard of six feet, was three hundred and forty one thousand dollars. The vertical granite curbing, uh, thirty one hundred feet of that. At thirty-five dollars uh, per linear foot was one hundred eight thousand five hundred dollars. Um, catch basin adjustments and locations is six thousand dollars. Tree removal is forty-five hundred dollars, and five se segmental block retaining walls 
is $60,000. The total is $520,000 okay. to build the walkway. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I do want to mention one more thing, and I'm going to go kind of along with what uh, Mr. Jones said, and that is that the DPW director and his deputy have a bigger picture, a sort of a master plan, capital improvement. They have a plan where they're doing this, that, and the next thing. This is just something that um, they weren't planning to do, but the neighborhood asked. And I appreciate the neighborhood asking, but as Tim pointed out, um, everybody probably would like a sidewalk. I'm sure that, um, you know, the same argument could be made for almost every road um, that presently doesn't have a sidewalk. I'm thinking myself about Mill Road, where I used to live at one time. There's no sidewalk from uh, Ann's, that four Ann's corner Lane. thing, Ann's Lane, Ann's to all the way to, uh, yeah, there's Someone no sidewalk. Someone working on a petition for that now for next year. Well, that's that's all well and good, and, and everybody can keep petitioning more and more, and, and, and Tim, you mentioned the figure six million. It's, I seem to remember it was twenty-five million, but yeah. it was a it was a huge amount. Um, and that was just to repair existing sidewalks. Right. Yeah. It can't. We can't do everything at once. So I have to go with the professionals that I that we're paying that we hired, and that is the DPW director and his deputy. I have to go with what they recommend. If they had come to me with this Warren article, then I would consider it in a whole different light. But I'm, having said that, does anybody else have anything to say about this petition Warren article? David. I totally agree with what you're saying and Tim said in the aspect that we need a grand plan. We not only need a grand plan for sidewalks, there's other things coming down the line that we need to coordinate. We're coordinating the water flow. I think it's a great idea to coordinate this together in one overall plan in doing the town properly in the with the car in the DPW, I believe has the right people to do that. I'm just agreeing with that statement because I really believe in it in planning it out properly. Thank you, David. Regina, you wanted to say something? I just wanted to say yes, and the petitioners of this Warren article are aware. Um, they're front and pending. There's a lot on the ballot this year, and this and I've explained to them that you know this can't all happen at one time. But the fact that it's to go on the ballot this year, whether or not it gets approved, to me is not really the issue that we're dealing with right now. The issue that we're dealing with right now is that we have people that are in their 30s and 40s that have kids that feel unsafe for their kids to go to school to go to a playground. And yeah, it's not just on Mace Road, it's all over town. So we really need to start putting together plans and plans don't just consist of, you know, how to do it and what to do it. It also consists of putting money aside to actually get the projects done because we got sidewalks, we got people's houses getting flooded with frozen salty seawater. No one comes and helps us bail us out ever. So it's up to us to help and to help everyone that lives in this town. And I understand all your points and where you're coming from exactly, and I explained that to the petitioners. But I said, you know what? Put it on the put it on there. Petition it, because we got to start getting in people's minds what needs to be done. All right. So having, that's all I'd like to having say. Having said that, um, should we now take a vote, Tim? Mm -hmm. uh, one statement and a question, if I might. Fred, did I hear you say that uh, ADA is now requiring six foot, or that's recommended six foot? The, I understand the ADA requirements have been increased to six feet. That has serious implications for our sidewalk costs all over the place. For everybody's sidewalk costs. Because we've been we've been repairing sidewalks with the intent of making ADA compliant. I don't think we have a sidewalk at six feet. Well, if it's, if it's an existing sidewalk, it can remain at its current width. Okay. As long as the intersections of the sidewalk have the ADA requirements in them. As of what the new date? sidewalk is going to have to meet the new requirements of ADA. As of what date? I, they didn't give me a date, but it's, it's been within the last year they've changed the requirements. So if we built one two years ago. We're, we we're safe. Right. No safe. problem. We built one if last year. If we're, we're rehabilitating a sidewalk, we right. don't. We it, we can keep it the same. If way. we're building one this year. If it's a brand new one, we're going to have to comply with the requirements. Six foot. That is amazing. All right, let's do so about my, my statement Whoops. is my statement is uh, simply this that uh, I think that sidewalks are a great thing. We should have them probably in a whole lot of places. I agree with Regina, 
Um, the fact that this is on the warrant is not a problem with me. Uh, it's our job to recommend to the voters whether they should approve it or not, which is what we're going to take a vote on right now. But uh, I think that it's a big question in my mind whether this particular sidewalk is the number one sidewalk we should do first. All right. Now, all those in favor, raise your hand, please. All those in favor of recommending this, please raise your hand. All those opposed to this particular warrant article, please raise your hand. I have um, Brian and Sonny, and I have Danielle and Maureen, Steve LaBranch, Mike Plouffe, Steve Henderson, Tim Jones, and David Moyer. Those uh, abstaining would be Regina. Thank you very much. Moving.